Hi everyone, this is Zephi. I'm here today to show you my Christmas stuff. I know it's a bit early. It's not even the end. It's almost the end of November. But anyway, uh, Jill Norwood has a challenge going all on called Curate Your Christmas. And um, I decided to play along and I'm very glad I did because I'm ready to start my Christmas projects. I'm ready to start my Christmas journal, which is, I've already started, but I want to cut out my dates and finalize my papers and get it ready for December. It will be the fifth time I'm making a Christmas journal. Up there you can see my 2012 one and my 2010 one. So um, the word curate means to display or exhibit and that's basically what I'm doing here. Um, I went down to the basement, pulled out the rest of the flowers, whatever I had from last year, I sorted through my papers and I'm ready to go. So just briefly, this is a table that isn't normally here. I just brought it in so I can display this. And um, that's my t TV room and my craft desk is actually behind that set of drawers. You can see the back of the drawers there. Um, that on the ottoman is my journal in the packet and my papers. And oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. On this side is a table and I've set up a second, um, a second workstation there for hot gluing and machining and so forth. So let me just tell you what I've done here. I've found this for my laces. My friend Irini was going to throw it away. It's a terrarium. I oh, beg your pardon, Aliki, not Irini. Aliki was going to throw it away and she put it on Facebook and asked if someone wanted it. And I said, yes, please. So that keeps my laces away from dust because Athens is extremely dusty. So that's there. And I'm on a complete lace fetish at the moment. So I'll be using that on my decorations for sure. These balls I bought last year, I still haven't done a thing with them, so they're here in my face. Hopefully I'll decorate a few. Uh, this is my basket of flowers. I found these yesterday for 9 euros down the centre of Athens. Oopsie, I hate it when it does that. I think they're gorgeous. They're in a basket from Turkey that my friend Evie gave me. It's a tea collecting basket. Then I've got this beautiful tin here that um, had a panettone in it. And in that I've got some fabrics and some more trims. Okay. Then um, I've kept stuff in little baskets and boxes so that I can um, take them to my desk if I need to. This is just a little basket with some tissue paper and some trims. I've mixed the reds and the stuff, you know, everything there. This is a, a bowl, a milk glass bowl, with a selection of small flowers and leaves. This little guy needs to go on the tree. We bought him at the end of Christmas last year and he landed up in my stash. I don't know why. My daughter's going to ask what he's doing here. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Hopefully I'll put some of that in these balls. So we'll see. I'll show you as I go along. Then in front of the lace I've taken a wine box and I've used it to put some things in. I've got some cards, some glassine bags from Nectaria, some cello bags, some die cuts I've cut, some old bits from last year and the year before. Um, some reindeer that I cut on my silhouette, some tags, some more tags, my little notebook journal that I made to keep notes and shopping lists and stuff for December. I found these at Tiger, two for a euro yesterday, so I have bought some. They're not all Christmas, but I bought them yesterday, so I've just kept them together. Some thickers. Um, this is a glass container that I decoupaged some years back and I love, I love how this turned out. These, all of these die cuts were stuck in a little box and um, I've just cut them out and 
taken them out and put them over here and they are ready. I'm ready to go and uh, die cut numbers and start my journal. As soon as this is done, I'll do that. I need to find a deeper box for these. These are just little stars and icicles and little speech bubbles and fragments and icicles and stuff. So that's all in here because this, this bowl takes up such a lot of floor space. It has a big footstep. Actually, it has a small footstep and a big head, hey? <laughs> anyway, so I thought I'll utilize the space a little bit more. That's more die cuts. Uh, let me show you my bling in here. I want to alter some crystals this year. I want to use that in my book. Some pearls, oh, odds and sods, little balls. Not very Christmassy, but I think I'll make them work. These are just baubles, which may get used. Highly unlikely that they'll fit in the glass ones, but we'll see. And then this tray, this little basket here, has things I want to alter and change. So this is also future projects. This is done. There's some more um, wire pieces that I need to make more of. I want to make some Christmas decorations out of the corks. Um, I want to make some more of these hearts. Maybe also some bird houses. We'll see. And then over here I've got some filigree pieces for my altered matchboxes. Um, some trims, some elves that need to find a new house, some crystals, some lovely bling because bling is a must. Some homemade stars, some bells, some more stars, some wings. And that's it. I've got some more jingle bells over here. Where are they? Over there. Can you see? At the, on, hanging off the basket here. So I'll just take them as I need them. Okay, everyone. Oops. Just bumped into the chair behind me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to see some of your rooms. They are yummy, yummy, yummy. I love watching them. I love the inspiration. Keep well and have a good Thanksgiving. Bye.